So you were chasing, you were out there doing, interrupting sort of strangers and colder people. Completely. Hi everyone, it's Tom Panos here. I've got with me Matt Lancashire, arguably the best person that I know at the moment at getting vendor paid advertising. He's exceptional. He's riding one and a half million. He's a young guy, owner of Ray White at New Farm. How are you, Matty? Yeah, really good, thanks, Tom. Matty, how long have you been in real estate? This is my ninth year to date, coming up in, um, in October. How old are you? Uh, 33. Um, and when did you become an owner of a business here? Uh, I bought the business in October in 2012, so it's coming up to three years. But you still stay focused as being a salesperson in the business? Completely, yeah. You write around one and a half? That's correct. Um, average price? Uh, average price has gone up uh, lately, so my average price at the moment is 1.725. Okay. Uh, auctions, more private treaty? 80% would be auction. Okay. Matty, I want to ask you, what makes you so good? Like, I mean, you might be a bit humble and a bit shy, but get down to the bottom line is, to write the sort of money you're writing, you must be doing a few things good. Why, why are you so successful? Um, well, I don't think that I'm... I look at other people around the country and don't think I'm as half as successful as what they are. However, when I first started out, I had probably the hardest year, two years of my life with income. Um, and then I went around the country and went down to all the ARICs and I spoke to a few agents and you've been kind enough to link me up with a few as well. And I studied what the best people did. And it came down to three things in my opinion, which was a lot of them were auction agents, a lot of them were big VPA agents, and the rest, and all of them were hard workers. So what I decided to do was implement all of those things into my own business. And the one thing that I can, I can hone in on it was I, I sat down with my account manager, who's Chelsea um, Tierney yep. from, the, from News Corp, and I said to her, I want to be the number one career mail advertiser. And from that moment, that year that I said that I wanted to do it, my business just imploded. Yeah, so you, I mean, sum up to me the attraction business model. Uh, you pioneered many ways putting single properties on big ads. And I know that you uh, recently were written about in all the uh, real estate trade journals as a guy that did a campaign. At what, what, what was the value of the campaign? Uh, it was a double page. It was a quad page that wrapped the front of the career mail. Four pages, one property. Four pages for one week, yeah. Okay. What makes you so good at getting VPA when you're talking to a, a, a vendor? Because most vendors are reluctant to spend too much. Completely. Well, most vendors are completely reluctant to spend money on marketing, paying a top fee, and also going to auction. So what I tried to do was come up... Well, the biggest thing for me was I knew all the objections going into it. So you've got to be really good at overcoming your objections. So what I have done is I've created a story which is a success story that I had on a, on a campaign which was a few years ago now where I ended up overcoming every single one of those objections through that story, whether it be um, putting a price on it or not putting a price on it, over, overpricing, underpricing, going to auctions, ads in the Courier Mail, because in Queensland um, the Courier Mail is... I'm not sure whether you, you, you know the fact, but it's, I think it's the most expensive publication in, in Australia. Yeah. So to get a full page ad for one week is $7,600. Um, and spend, having vendors having to spend that money up front is not an easy task. However, if you genuinely believe in it and you're getting the results from it, then there's no way if you ask for it, you're going to get it. And the thing is, I've got, I, I can tell you now that all of the prices that I've achieved in, in our area, and we've, we've got a number of record prices, have been testament to getting competition through driving competition through our open homes, which then turns to our auctions, which is going to guarantee the seller to get the best price. So, more or less, your prospecting strategy for getting new listings is your current stock completely. Right. Following people up from open houses. That would be my number one thing that I do really, really well. So, I, I simplify it all. I do all the basic stuff. Like, um, so, I'm very structured in, in my business. I've got checklists for everything. So, as soon as the property's listed, we go through, we, um, we make sure that we do our just listings, our, our, our marketing that goes out. How many of you reckon you do? Oh, just, oh, well, it's changed now. Depending on the size of the property, I'll do, rather, we call it magic 50s usually, which is you, you sort of saturate 50 homes around. I do magic 250s. Right. Yeah. Okay, and just sales. Well, that's after the process. Yeah. And then... So we make sure that our just listed goes out before the first open home. So we invite all the owners to come through. Then what we do is our follow-up process is 
I would say, borderline stalkerish. So on a Saturday, we get back to the office. No one goes home until all the calls are done on a Saturday afternoon. One of my team sends an email out to every single buyer, and then I call. Right. Um, and we want to ascertain, you know, one of, or we want to ascertain whether they're a buyer, a researcher, or a seller. Uh, a researcher or someone that's looking to, for ideas to, and there'll be a future seller as well. So we're ascertaining what they are and we're really digging down in our conversations on Saturday. If we miss them on Saturday, we call them again on Monday, then we text them on Monday afternoon, and then we do round three on Tuesday. So wow, now that is rigorous. Yeah. So that, that, that is your key strategy at new listing acquisitions. Totally. I look, at, I look at one auction, not just as one campaign and one sale. I look at it as three other opportunities. Um, and I can tell you right now that 60% of my current stock that's on the market, um, if we went through my database and had a look at it, would be someone that's been through my open home at one point of time. Okay. So, Matty, what about to the viewers out there that are in the early years in real estate? Yep. What are the advice you give? How were you getting business when you first started? Was that the same way or did you do things differently? Completely. Yeah. Um, how long do you reckon it takes before you move to being someone that's more attraction? A lot of it's got to do with your ability to get VPA, obviously. Totally. The traction that a new person gets just from calling through that, nine times out of ten, people just are happy to hear from you. Or you're door knocking for the wrong reason. You door knock for the relationship. And if you get a listing, you're lucky. Big, hairy, audacious goals. Um, and I'd sit down, and as soon as I'd hit them or smash them, I'd realign myself and set another one again. So, oh, goal. think big, think big. That completes the free video. If you'd like to see the full length of this interview, plus get the implementation video, plus get the scripts and dialogues and accountability, I recommend you join the real estate gym. Hi, it's Tom Panos here, and I'm pleased to announce that I'm opening the doors to the real estate gym 12 month training program. On a weekly basis, you'll be getting the full million dollar agent interview, plus an implementation coaching video on how to implement those learnings. You'll be given the tools, letters, techniques that the agent is really using in their own business. You'll also be getting the latest scripts and dialogues that are working in the marketplace. Tom Panos is Australia's leading real estate coach and speaker. He's done everything that he coaches. So I think when it comes to quality takeaways and quality of information, Tom Panos is about as good as you're going to get in this country. All silent! Sold. Congratulations! There is two main things you will get out of the program. How to consistently get called into more listing presentations, and once you're in, how to consistently get picked as the agent that they list with. On a monthly basis, we will have a webinar that's going to keep you accountable. I've assembled 13 great mentors that will help you understand what they're doing to succeed in business. This 12-month program, with all the tools, techniques, and coaching in it, would have an estimated value of $25,000 to $30,000 a year. I'm making it available for less than $10 a week to a small group of agents who want to have the best year ever. I look forward to being part of your real estate growth for the next 12 months.